What is up everyone? Welcome to today's Undialed video. Today's Undialed video is teaching you 20 easy scooter tricks you can learn in 20 minutes. Now, if you clicked on this video, you were probably a kid getting into scootering, wondering some easy tricks that you could do, or you're an adult trying to impress someone. Today, we're gonna to help you out. We're gonna teach you 20 easy ways to get good at this thing. Before you try any tricks on a scooter, the first trick we're gonna teach you is how to properly get on your scooter without looking like an idiot. For most people that don't scooter, the common way to pick up your scooter is to bend down and grab the handlebars and pull it up to you. But that is not necessary. No use of your back is required. The only thing that's required is your foot. The first thing you gotta do is put your foot onto the wheel, the underside of the wheel. And then the second thing you do is put your foot against the ground. Doing this will bring the scooter up to your hand. Oh, and if, if that was too hard for you, you can also just uh, put your foot on the deck and pick it up. And this is how you properly pick up a scooter. Now let's get into some tricks. So once you're on your scooter, the next most important thing for you to learn is which way you stand. So there's two ways of standing on a scooter. There is either right foot forward or left foot forward. The way that you determine this is there actually is no way to determine this. I feel like everyone is actually kind of random in this. It's kind of like being right-handed or left-handed. You just kind of have to do enough activities before you learn like which hand is which. An easy indicator is which one you kick a soccer ball with. Whatever foot you go and you want to kick a soccer ball with or something, that is probably your dominant foot. And that's probably the foot that should be foot forward. But not always. You really just have to try scootering and figure out which one is easier for you. If you're first learning, I, I think you can go either way. Figure out your stance, either right foot forward or left foot forward. Ski is not an option. The bunny hop is a very crucial trick to learn for any trick that you want to do on a scooter. So make sure you get this dialed in and perfect. The first step, make sure that you're in a comfortable position and centered on your scooter. The next step, bend down as low as you can to preload for the jump. And when you're ready to execute the trick, jump with your legs and use your arms to keep your scooter with you. And boom, you've done a bunny hop. So luckily you've learned the bunny hop. Now the magnet. The magnet is the same concept as a bunny hop, but instead of using your arms to keep your feet on your deck, you do the opposite and push your arms down. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is jump with your feet first and then pull your deck up to you. It's honestly just a really fun trick to mess around with. All right, guys, right now I'm gonna teach you the sex change. The sex change is when you start on one stance of your scooter and mid bunny hop, you switch your stance. You can either start goofy and go to regular or start regular and go to goofy. You basically just switch your feet back and forth. You wanna know how to bunny hop before doing this trick, but you don't have to learn it because you can do this trick without jumping. But I would suggest learning how to do this trick jumping because it's, it's just an overall cooler trick. The one footer. A one footer is honestly a really fun trick just to mess around when you're riding around with friends or goofing around hopping off curbs. All you have to do is just do a bunny hop and kick your foot out all nice and steezy. You can either use your front foot or you can use your back foot. I personally use my front foot normally, but some people use their back foot. So it really all comes down to preference. The one thing I will tell you, make sure when you kick your leg out, make sure your leg is completely straight to give it that extra steeze. After you've learned the one footer, it's now time for the one hander. This trick is pretty self-explanatory. It's when you ride your scooter with only one hand in the air. You can take off either hand, but I think it's easier to take off your non-dominant hand. So if you're right-handed, take off your left hand. If you're left-handed, take off your right hand. So now that you've mastered the one footer, same thing you did before with the one footer, but just take both feet off and kick both legs out to get them nice and locked. It's honestly a fun trick just to do and mess around with. So if you've mastered the no footer, now I challenge you to add a bar spin or a late tail whip in there. No foot late whip or a no foot bar spin. After you learn a no footer, the next trick you're gonna learn is an X up. The reason it's called an X up is because your forearms make an X right as you're doing the trick. It's basically a half bar spin, but your bars never actually leave your hands. You're just bringing it forward and bringing it back. The motion is simple. You turn the bars 180 degrees until your forearms touch, and that's when you know you have it clicked. This trick was personally very easy for me to learn because I have very long and skinny arms, so getting it into that X up position is very easy. If you're someone with bigger arms and potentially shorter forearms, this trick might just naturally be harder for you. So if your friends get it, don't be discouraged. And if you get it, don't discourage your friends. Now taking to the home and garden center of scootering, the Weed Whacker. 
So this trick is really fun just to do in general. The key to this trick is you really wanna make sure that your dominant hand stays on your scooter. And as you kick it out, you wanna just swing your arms around it, basically to make a circular motion. And then once you get it around, hop back on it. The next trick we're learning is called the X-Ride. The X-Ride is called an X-Ride because it's just an extension of the trick and x step that we learned a few minutes ago. You basically get yourself in that 180 position with your forearms and your bars, and you hold it and you ride like that. It seems a little bit awkward at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. You can pretty much do it through anything. This trick is really nice to learn because you don't necessarily have to bunny hop into the x up. You can just begin by starting in the X-Ride position and push your way along. And from there, you'll be able to learn how to jump in and out of it. The can plant is one of my favorite tricks. I love doing tricks in and out of it. Before you learn the actual can plant, I want to explain to you what a can can is. A can can is when you take your front foot and stick it out in front of you. What you do is you take the can can and put your foot on the ground, which makes it a can plant. So the key to this trick is you wanna make sure as you land, you wanna make sure that you bend over the knee that is planted. The reason when you do this is because it keeps everything centered and your balance in check. So when you're ready to jump out of it, it's super easy and you can ride away with ease. The next trick we're learning is called a Texas plant. Why it's called a Texas plant, I have no idea, but I'm gonna teach you how to do it. This trick is basically where you put your back foot on the ground, keeping your front foot on the scooter, and keeping one hand on the bars while the other hand is touching your deck. When you jump, you basically want to simultaneously take your hand off of the bar and take your foot off of the scooter, put your foot on the ground while your hand is going to the deck, and in that motion, you'll put all of your weight on your back foot that's on the ground and kind of just leap off of your foot. This is a really fun trick to learn, and it's kind of steezy too. trick to do in general just messing around or playing a game of skew with your friends just trying to add new tricks the whole goal of a lightsaber is you want to end up having both hands on one singular grip what you want to do is jump take one hand off and grab behind the hand that is still on the scooter and then return it's a very good way to begin the learning stages of a bar spin. after you became a jedi master it's time to go back to elementary school and play some hopscotch except today we're learning the scooter trick to hopscotch i don't really know if this trick is actually called the hopscotch I actually don't even know if it has a name, but it's a really fun and easy trick that you can do and learn. The reason that I call it a hopscotch is you're kind of just hopping around on your feet and rotating around in your scooter, and it kind of feels like you're playing a kid's game when you're doing it. What you need to do is take your front foot off, and instead of putting it in front of you, you put it behind you. When you do this, you want to start spinning in a front side motion on your front wheel, putting all of your weight onto the foot that's on the ground. As soon as you hit the 180 mark, you want to put your foot through the scooter until it's on the front side of you. With the weight that you're putting onto your front foot that's now in front of you, you want to finish the rotation and hop back onto your scooter. A half bar is a really good way to begin the stages of a bar spin. The lightsaber helps you get part of the way there, but a half bar really does the trick. So let's say you're using your right hand to throw the bar. It doesn't matter which way you do it, but I'm using this as an example. When you jump, you wanna use your right hand and hand the grip to the other hand, or you can throw it. The half bar is a really good way to begin the stages of learning a bar spin. The first thing you wanna do before you actually start trying this trick jumping is practice it on the ground. Practice throwing one grip to the other hand and do it over and over and over again until you're really, really comfortable with it. And then you can take it to the streets and try it anywhere or off anything. The best way is you wanna jump, and as you jump, as fast as you can, throw one grip to the other hand. But honestly, if you spend a lot of time doing a half bar, you might as well just learn a bar spin. This next trick that we're learning right here is actually one of the first scooter tricks I ever learned. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Basically, what you do is you lift your front foot up and around your handlebars. You can go either direction with it. I found that people find a favorite way of doing it, and that's the way they stick with. But for me, it's easier to do it bringing my leg back towards me. This is kind of just a trick you have to mess around with until you get it. There's not many tips I can give you, just try it. The whole idea behind a one-footed manual is really finding your balance point on your scooter. Everyone has a different balance point, mainly because everyone's a different size, every scooter is a different size, so everyone's gonna have a different center of balance. 
What's nice about the one footed manual is you can either use your front foot or your back foot as a counter to really help you balance out the manual while you're staying on one wheel. It can be very uncomfortable at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's super easy. This next trick is called the swan. I don't really know if it's called the swan, but that's the name I just gave it right now. I've been doing this trick ever since I learned how to leg sweep. It's kind of just the extension of a leg sweep, except you keep your foot over the bars and wrap your foot around the down tube and try to just use it as stability and control your scooter with it. It's a pretty fun trick to learn and it's kind of a cool looking trick because you have both your hands completely free when you get into a good balance point. I never really see a lot of people do it, so if I end up seeing you do it, I'm gonna be really hyped. Spirit fingers. Like I said on the last trick, it was really cool that you can use no hands, but we're gonna take it to the next level. Right now we're gonna learn the no-handed ride. No-handed ride is a really fun trick because you basically ride your scooter with only your feet on the scooter. Basically, you wanna put all of your weight onto your back foot and use your front foot kind of as stability while your back foot is where all of your momentum is. Use your arms to catch stability and the most important thing is, is that your bars are turned backwards. If your bars aren't turned backwards, this trick will not work. If you guys want a more detailed explanation, we made a full in-depth tutorial about how to do this trick. It will be up in the cards right now. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. If there's some tricks that we missed, let us know in the comments down below. If there's any tricks that you want to see a tutorial over, whether it's a bar spin or a certain type of plant, let us know in the comments below. I hope to see some sick Instagram content from you guys of learning new tricks. You can hashtag undialed on Instagram to be featured. We also have our Christmas drop coming on November 22nd. It's coming up quick, but if you missed it, there's probably still stuff on the website, so I would hurry up and go cop some stuff. Also, if you're just getting into scootering, make sure you go get yourself a S1 lit helmet. They're sold at your local scooter shop. If you cannot find it, the Vault, the Scooter Farm, all those guys have them. Go cop it, keep your head protected. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.